In today's video, we're going to talk about Shopify's online store 2.0, Metafields, and JSON template files. Stay tuned for that. So in the previous video, I talked about Shopify Unite conference. And in that conference, Shopify announced that they will be upgrading the online experience from, I guess, version 1 to version 2 because they called it Online Store 2.0. And with this upgrade, a lot of things changed. And I'm not talking about just the, um, the interface, but also the way it works. I mean, technically, it's still the same. The usage is still the same, but now shopify stores are built modularly i guess that's a word i hope so yeah it's now modular and what that means is you can now rearrange the content of your shopify stores template files or templates so say for example in home page you can rearrange the um the um uh, the section and the blocks and also not just in the home page but also in product pages or in product page in article page and blog page and so on so basically you can rearrange the title the buy now button the quantity the variance and so on i'm going to show you that later in this video so a lot of new things are added in this update but in this video i'm just going to show you online store 2.0 as well as how to set up meta fields and how to use them and how to i guess write json template files or maybe i'll just show you how json template files work so we're here at our shopify partners account the first thing that we're going to do is to create a development store with developer preview enabled so click add store button and select development store and just fill up the following form once you're done filling up the following form, just scroll down and make sure that you enable the developer preview. So click the checkbox button, enable that. And for the select developer preview, you can select either of these two options. You can select do this in Texas or global nav. I'll just select do this in Texas. And next stop, just fill up the following store address form. And once you're finished, just click save and click create transfer disabled store. All right, so now we're here at our development store. The first thing that we're going to do is to open the um, customizer page. So open the online store page. Let's just wait for it to load. Now, if you take a look here, now it's using the Dawn Shopify theme. Previously, whenever you create a Shopify development store, it's going to use the debut Shopify theme, but now it's going to be Dawn. So if you take a look at the customizer page, let's open that in a new tab. And while we're waiting for this to be loaded, let's also open the products page because we're going to upload or import the product. Just an example products. So import, I'll import and upload and continue. Click import products. And that should import the example hat, the pants, and then the t-shirt. The next thing that we're going to do is to go to settings page. And here we should have the following meta fields now. Previously, we don't have this section. But now we have the meta field settings. So open that. And here you can create the meta fields for products, for variants. Currently, the collection, the customers, and the orders are not available yet. But it's fine. You can create um, meta fields for products or variants. So let's just select the products first. And this is where you can create the definition for your um, products meta field. So click add definition. And you can set its name to whatever you want. But if you want to use the following preset, you can use that. But I'll just type in here, example, meta field, like so. And next, for the namespace and key, you can change this if you want. You can change this to something else, like example, underscore, meta field. Now, the namespace and the key is basically where you're going to use if you're going to access the value of this meta field. And for the description, you can just set it to something else if you want. If you want to describe this meta field, or you can just leave it empty. Now for the content type, this is where you can set it to color, to date and time, to file, to JSON, to measurement, to number, reference, and so on. So this is honestly really cool because if you want to say, for example, give a product a color, then you can select the color content type. If you want to give the product, say for example, a date and time when the product is going to be available or when it's going to be not available, you can create a date and time meta field for that purpose. 
and for the file you can use it to I don't know to upload images and so on and for the JSON it's going to be an object measurement of the product number reference text but you know what for this video let's just select text because I want to show you what's the purpose of this uh, meta field and and use it here in our customizer page so let's just leave the validation empty for now I'll just click save and next up let's open the products page and open the example t-shirt and if we scroll down we should have the meta field section at the very bottom of this page so as you can see now we have the following meta fields so for the example meta field you can just set this to say for example this is a green shirt just an example and if we save this this meta field this example meta field will have a value of this as a green shirt and then we can go back to the previous product we can we can open the example pants and then change the value of the meta field to something else like this is an old looking pant we can also save this and finally we can use this meta field here in our customizer page and then we can use that as a dynamic source and there you go so this is now the online store 2.0 so as you can see here on the left side this is where you can find your sections your blocks and so on and this is also where you can apply the app extensions or the app blocks so app block is another um, feature um, but it's for Shopify app development honestly so if you're going to create Shopify apps you can use app blocks or app extensions to to add like features to a Shopify store and Shopify merchants won't have to um, worry about the code that you are inserting to the Shopify store it's going to be automatically deleted if they uninstall the Shopify app so it's honestly a really really cool feature but anyway here in the right side is where you can um, change the value of this block it's basically the setting section and for the um, navigational bar this is where you can access the template files so let's open a product so here products page and let's select the default product now what's amazing in this customizer is that now you can also create template files directly inside of this customizer page instead previously we're creating template files in our theme code editor but now you can create template files directly inside of your customizer which is honestly really convenient all right, so now that we're here in the product page, we can use the meta field as a dynamic source. Now, what I mean by that? Well, if you select, say, for example, this text, as you can see here, we have the following insert dynamic source. If you click that, you can select the meta field that you created. So as you can see here, we have the following example meta field. Now, since this is a text type block, you can only select a meta field, which is a content type text. That's why we can see the example meta field here. But if you're going to create a block which is a type color, then you can use the meta field content type color or a meta field with a content type color. So for now, let's just create a new block and let's select text. And then let's just close this. For this text, we can select the insert dynamic source. And then you can just select the example meta field. And you can just select insert and we can just save this and if you take a look at the very bottom as you can see we have the text block this is a green shirt you know what let's just customize this and get rid of the text block and let's just move it above the vendor so as you can see now we have the this is a green shirt now if we save this and if we open another product so go back to products page and select preview you should open the product in a new tab and if you take a look as you can see it's using this is an old looking pant instead of this is a green shirt which makes everything pretty dynamic now this is honestly pretty amazing because you can create a dynamic content for each product so if, for example if you want to describe the product in a different way you can use meta fields for that or if you want to change the color of a certain product not the entire product you can use meta fields for that that makes meta fields really really amazing now the next thing that we're going to do is to look at the json template so go back to your development admin page and select the online store and this time we're going to open the code editor select edit code and if you take a look here inside of the templates folder 
as you can see the template files are no longer liquid they are json files so if we open for over.json as you can see it's no longer a liquid code it's going to be a json code or a json object so here it's using sections field and inside of it there is a section id it's called main and the type and this is basically the name of the um, section main 404 which you can then find inside of the sections folder so main 404 if you take a look here we have main 404 and settings that's setting schema if you know setting schema already it's pretty obvious and here we have the order it's basically the order for the section so if you have two more uh, if you have a lot of sections you can order them inside of this um, array so main say for example let's create another um, section so let's call it um, I don't know like blog just an example and for this you can set its type to main blog so say for example the type we set its value to main hyphen blog and that's because here we have a main blog so whatever is the name of your section that should be for the type without the extension without the dot liquid just the file name all right so we're not going to save that i'll just leave it unchanged now if we open the product template it should be at the templates folder if we open the product.json we should have here the meta field that we created so whatever changes you made inside of your customizer page it's going to be updated here inside of the json template file so if you create another another meta field or another block say for example let's select pop-up if we select that if we save this and if we refresh our code editor we should have the pop-up at the end of the section so if we scroll down as you can see now we have the following block and that's pretty much it that is the online store 2.0 that's the meta field and that's the json template files the only thing that really bothered me is that i'm pretty sure they're going to treat theme kit the same way they treated slate so if you are an old developer or if you are an old shopify developer you probably know what is slate so slate is a theme or is a tool for shopify theme development and i'm pretty sure they're going to deprecate theme kit not soon but pretty soon so yeah it's pretty sad but it is what it is sooner or later we're going to um, use Shopify CLI which I'm not yet because I'm still using uh, never mind I'm not going to <laughs> but anyway this is it for this video I hope this video helped you even just for a little bit I hope it helped you understand what is online store 2.0 what is Matafield and what is JSON template files or what is json template file but yeah if it helped you then let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe for more shopify theme development video again guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time peace